everyone. My name is Josh Wong, and today I'll be talking to you all about the beauty of football. Football, also known as soccer, is a round object that can be played in any open space. The main idea is that you can hit the ball with any part of your body besides your arms, unless you're a goalkeeper. These rules may seem too simplistic, but as far as I'm concerned, the simplicity of the sport is one of the beauties of the sport. The, fi the football we all know today is known as modern football, which originated in Britain in the 19th century. It is now officially a game that composes of two teams with 11 players. Whichever team scores the most within 90 minutes wins the game. With approximately 265 million people playing the sport, 3.5 billion people watching it on a weekly basis, football is doubtlessly the most popular sport on the planet. For those of you who don't play the sport, you may wonder, what's so entertaining about 22 people chasing after a ball? In this talk, I'll be talking about my personal experiences, life lessons that can be learned through football, and the economic side of the sport. Having picked up football at the tender age of five, I started watching it on a weekly basis ever since I was 10 years old. This was because the atmosphere of football surrounding Hong Kong was passionate and exciting, despite it being a city where football is not seen as a part of the culture. I could only imagine what it would be like to be in Brazil or England. By acknowledging the fact that football has provided economic prosperity to Brazil, in the 2014 World Cup, Brazil earned around 11 billion US dollars to tourism as a result of it being the biggest sporting event on the planet. The average pay for a Premier League footballer is roughly 8.7 million US dollars, whilst the average pay for a doctor ranged from 100,000 pounds to 110,000 pounds. This implies that dedicating your time in football won't be a waste of time as most citizens in countries worry that they will face economic issues if they do become a professional footballer. Some would argue that Premier League footballers are overpaid, but without the publicity of football, the UK's economy will face a decline. More than 800,000 fans flock to Britain every year just to watch a live football game, simulating the economy through tourism. Besides that, Shirt sales and online bets also introduce economic prosperity. This is one of the beauties of football. It contributes to a nation in all aspects, such as culture, politics, and most significantly, the economy. I surveyed my peers within and outside of school to have a thorough view regarding the beauty of football. I received numerous responses, which gave me a decent overview. Approximately 70% of the respondents agreed with the fact that background and race of an individual has no effect on their access of football, either as a spectator or as a player. A pupil stated, everyone, regardless of their race and background, has same access to football. Because all you need is an object that you can kick around with. That's part of the beauty of the game. Growing up, I've always wanted football to be a part of my life. On weekdays, I would spend my free time playing football on the school pitch. On weekends, I would gather with my friends and watch a game of football. On long holidays, I would travel across the road just to watch a game of live football. Now that I'm 17 years old, I've got to start thinking about my future career. Regardless of what I do, I want to get involved with football. Say, if I become a lawyer, I would want to be a personal lawyer for a footballer. If I do become an engineer, I would want to build stadiums. Through playing football, you acquire life skills that will aid you in your future journeys. That's because in football, no matter how good, how skillful you are, you, are, you won't be able to play unless you get along with your teammates. This sport highlights the significance of teamwork. In life, no matter how smart you are, you will need to work with different types of people in order to succeed. My love for football increased significantly after COVID-19. 
Over the past two years of living through the pandemic, the idea that sport and its presence can have a major effect on our mental health has moved much more into the mainstream. According to The Athletic, a less common but very much growing idea is the way that football and sport as a whole can be utilized as a form of therapy and a means of helping people engage better with themselves in terms of their emotions. In football, you have always got to keep your emotions together, despite the circumstances. A prime example for this will be what happened in the 2006 World Cup final. Sinedine Sedine, known as one of the greatest football player of all time, was the star of the game. His team, France, was tied with Italy. He scored an early goal to put France in the lead. In extra time, an Italian player insulted his sister. He lost his cool and headbutted the player. He got sent off and around 15 minutes later, the Italians were crowned as the World Cup champion. If Zidane wasn't sent off, the French team were more likely to win the game. With another World Cup title, Zidane would have ultimately been known as the greatest football player of all time. Letting your emotions take over you, even for a single second, can have a great impact on you. And playing football is the best way to learn this lesson. As a keen history student, I figured that the power of football is highlighted when World War I was paused for the spirit of football. It was known as the, as the Christmas Truce. During December 24th to 26th of 1914, German and British soldiers gathered to play a game of football. This simply shows that football is a gel that unites people from across the world. The power of unity in football is simply a match. Football has shaped who I am today. For those of you who are already playing football, never give up on it. For those of you who have never played football in your life, you should definitely give it a try.